Joining us now on Morning Footy is a very special guest, goalkeeper Colin Shuttler of Orange County SC in the USL Championship. Colin, thanks for taking the time to join us on the show today. How's it going? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. I'd be doing pretty well, too. If I, as a goalkeeper, scored the equalizer in my team's opening match against a club in Sacramento that is uh, a powerhouse in the USL Championship, and you are the first OC uh, goalkeeper to score a goal for your club. How does that feel? Uh, it feels incredible. Yeah, going into the, the SAC game, we knew that it was going to be a tough game away against 12,000 fans. Um, so to get out of there, a point was, was really good for us. Colin, talk us through that moment again. Was it your idea to go up for the, the fight that corner or was it the manager's idea? And what was the thought process and how are you feeling as you're going into the box? Definitely not my idea. I, I don't know if he would trust me to make that my my uh, decision myself. But uh, I looked over to my coach and he was very confident in it. And I, I probably looked over at him three different times before I had the confidence in myself to go all the way up there. Um, but I uh, just stayed at the top of the box. And uh, one of uh, one of our nines, Thomas Among, kind of took three guys with him. So it kind of opened up the lane for me to go in there, jump, and head the ball down, and I got lucky that it made it to the back of the net. Now, you were a striker in high school, so did you start getting PTSD of those moments <laughs> as you were up there that far? Because as a goalkeeper, I'm sure you don't really put yourself in these positions that often. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, and, and yeah, I was a, a striker in high school. It, it felt good to get another, another goal under my belt. I've never scored in my professional career, of course, and as a goalkeeper, <laughs> but uh, it was such an exhilarating feeling. Colin, you know, this goes back to the goalkeeper union question. Uh, did you apologize to the other keeper? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I did, actually, yes. <laughs> what are you apologizing for? Don't apologize hey, to the union's tight. That union's tight. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm always the goalkeeper at heart. I always, I always feel bad if, I mean, it's not a mistake at all in his part, but um, for a goalkeeper to do that against another goalkeeper, I always have to apologize. Well, and you played with a really good striker in Ricardo Pepe at North Texas, and he knows a thing or two about scoring goals. I'd say, were you uh, trying to channel any of uh, your former teammate in Ricardo Pepe, and do you guys still keep up? Maybe a little bit of Ricardo. I haven't talked to him in a while. Um, I'm pretty sure he still owes me a little bit of money from saving a, a penalty in practice, but uh, <laughs> I, won't, I won't hold that to him. <laughs> Love it. We're going to have to get that message to yeah, him. Yeah, totally. A Pepe hey, always before, pays Before his, the uh, game, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he'll always, he'll always pay up, but no, it was just a, a little joke between us at the moment. Colin, so now we always talk to different players about uh, ambitions for the season and goals they might set, personal goals. Let us know what it's like for a goalkeeper and like the personal goals that you might have for yourself as a goalkeeper because obviously you guys are the last line of defence. How do you visualise your season and how do you mentally prepare for a season and what are your goals? Yeah, uh, um, for myself, I, I always have like a shutout goal for myself and of course, that's a personal goal, but it's a very big team-oriented thing. So uh, um, I would say I wanted to get more shutouts than last year, especially playing more games. I, I, I didn't play. I think I played a little bit more than half the games last year due to injury and everything else, a lot of variables. But uh, um, getting a, a lot more shutouts this year, hopefully getting that golden glove that eluded me towards the end of the year last year. Um, but that being said, as, as a goalkeeper, it is a, a very isolated position, but all the accolades that I get is a team-oriented thing. Also, Colin, just to add to that, the evolution of the goalkeeper now, we've seen that now a lot more goalkeepers have to be good with their feet. Is that something that you found that most goalkeepers now have to do that they're training for? So training has changed slightly now with a lot more footwork involved? Yes, yes, I, I would definitely say that. And that's one of the first advices that I always give to younger kids when they're aspiring to be professional goalkeepers is, is play with their feet. And um, something that we've implemented is just us goalkeepers being part of the team possession every day in training. Um, and, and that's something that I did with my club coach a lot growing up. So I, I take pride in being comfortable with the ball at my feet. Colin, moving on to, to this weekend, you, you play a strong Miami FC tie. They, you, they're coming off a win in Open Cup. Um, what's your expectations? And, and um, you know, certainly I would imagine you want to keep a good start to this season. 
Yeah, yeah. We have uh, we have big expectations for ourselves, especially it's our home opener uh, coming off two away trips. Uh, I don't think the team is fully satisfied with how we're playing as a team. I mean, it's incredible to get four points out of the first two games, especially both of them being away. But uh, being at home, I, I think we want to dominate uh, being on the ball a lot more and kind of dictate the game more and uh, get another shutout and get another three points. Now, Colin, you're born and raised in Virginia, so you're an East Coast guy. You're out there in Orange County. Ooh. Other than friends and family, because I don't want to hear that, what do you miss most about Virginia? Is there something that you just can't get down in South Southern California? Probably the colder weather. Uh, I, during the off season, I still go home uh, to see my family and my brother. Um, but yeah, and, and of course, that's during the winter time, so I do get the colder weather. But Unfortunately, I think it was two days after I left to come back here was the first piece of snow that they got. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to see any snow this year. Um, and that's definitely something that I'm as, missing. As you send selfies from the golf course. Hey, everybody, yeah. I hope the snow is <laughs> No, I, I really, I really miss the snow here yeah. on the beach. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I, cold I do say you. I miss the snow and they're like, shut up. You're, you're out there, you're enjoying the sun, so they don't want to hear from me. Colin, Alexis really just wanted to know what food you miss from the East Coast. That's what he was really trying to get at. Although you got in and out, so maybe that balances out. But what do you miss, a cookout or something? We do. Uh, I do miss cookout. I miss that there's a Nando's, actually, that's pretty close to my house that, uh, that I'm missing. Did you say Nando's? Nando's again? I did say I Nando's. And I know, I know <laughs> Colin, how have you ever taken a date to Nando's? Can you take a first I, date? That's the question. No, a first no. date to Nando's? No. I have I'm never you. taken a first date, no. no. It's there only been go. a oh, wait, wait, so Let me guess. Back. You took her to Chili's or something, <laughs> innit? <laughs> anyway, Colin, another uh, conversation we had is obviously the U.S. Open Cup. You guys are not in it yet. What's the thoughts on the Open Cup and how do you guys feel about it now with obviously the lack of MLS teams in it? How confident are you guys in this year's competition? I, I think we're very confident, and I know we're going in uh, towards the later rounds um, coming a high seed from last year. But, yeah, I, I, I mean, from the results that we've gotten so far, I think we're very confident. And we know that if we focus on ourselves and play the way that we want to play, that we can go all the way and win it. Colin, how much more pressure does that put on the team knowing that maybe you don't need to get through as many of the big clubs in MLS anymore as you would have in years past? Does that put more pressure on you guys to say, like, hey, this could be one of our chances to go and do this thing? I, I guess that could be putting pressure, but I, I think uh, we see it as a group as an opportunity um, because – I mean, there's less teams to beat uh, going into a later round, and there's less teams above us, even though that we see that as a good challenge, and we know that we're able to do it. We're able to play at that level. Colin, why do you change your gloves every seven to ten games? <laughs> Probably just a little bit of the wear and tear. Um, it, it might be just a, a mental thing as well, but... Uh, that's just the number that I have in my head right now. Maybe sometimes if, if it's a easy zero shots against kind of run of games, I might not change them as quickly, but uh, that's just the number that I have in my head. Is wear and tear code for the smell? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, uh, especially my uh, my parents always talk to me and my brother. My brother's also a goalkeeper about the uh, the smell, but I, I think I'm probably immune to it at this point. So uh, <laughs> you might smell something different than I do. <laughs> As someone who had brothers that played hockey growing up. Ooh. Like, yeah, you just lead me to my next Deadly. question. Perfect. Oh, Colin, you're welcome. Don't let the suit fool you in the British action. I'm into the hockey as well. Now explain to me why you're an Anaheim Ducks fan. Uh, they're they're a local team. I, I mean, I, I'm actually probably a little bit more of a Caps fan myself, just being from Washington. But after coming out here, I've done some PR with some of their staff, some of their players, and they're such a great group to work with. And it's a it's a fun atmosphere going to their games locally as well. Nice, awesome, Colin. Great stuff. Awesome to chat with you today, and uh, best of luck this weekend and throughout the up, uh, upcoming season as well. Thank you so much, and thank you guys for having me on the show. All right, we'll uh, chat again soon, I'm sure, and be following. Score another on. goal. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> and then take a date to Nando's. Another... <laughs> Do that. <laughs> oh, man, great stuff. All right, well, we will step aside for a quick break. When we come back, more morning footy on the other side. Don't go anywhere.